All right, guys. Okay, the last part of uh, uh, not this series, but uh, important ones. Okay, so uh, remember that uh, we have done that. We have already compiled this program where we have um, proc two students, blah blah blah, and we're gonna run this program again and show you how it works. So you can see that uh, we straight away get uh, the value, which is John twenty one, and the output is fifty seven. Okay which is after calling the function calculate in display, right? Okay. And this is what, but remember the earlier example, we used, we, we, we used to have um, a part where we asked for the user to key in the values, right? Okay. Right. In this case, what you can do is, right? I can actually migrate this code over here, right? To this part. Okay, right, and uh, here in the main, as usual, I can create name, I can create float quiz, but let's give it another name so that uh, it will not confuse you. I'm going to use capital N, right, which is totally different, okay. Uh, capital quiz, um, then I have capital midterm, those are float, and I have one more which is h, integer h, okay, and therefore, right, here, your name, I will have n, capital, capital Q, capital M, and capital A, right? So what happened here is that in main, instead of having a function from the class to get the value, I rely on the main function, okay, to get the values for me. So I get a name, the quiz, the midterm, and the age. And then I create the object, call it start one, and what I send over, first I'll send over name, then I'll send over quiz, then I'll send over midterm and I'll send over H. Okay, so name is sent over to N. Quiz sent over to Q. Midterm sent over to MT. We are talking about a constructor, yeah, of course. And H with a capital A will send over to A. And then from here, you will store these values into name, quiz, midterm, and H which is part of the data members in the class. Remember that these are totally different from this. Okay. They have different rep repository uh, addresses. They are different variables. Okay. And this is definitely different as well. The data members is different. These are just variables created in the constructor of PROC2. These are the variables that are created in main okay and that's it so this is how basically you use a constructor so you get a name the quiz the midterm the age and then you create the uh, object proc2 start one upon object creation you straight away send over these four values okay because you have a constructor okay you have a constructor so you rely on the constructor to uh, uh, to address the values for name quiz midterm and age and then you can work on other operations okay and if i run this program now okay you get back the old output so i have john 12 45 21 there you go okay all right so you see there are multiple different approach uh, to do this and uh, and this is a constructor okay so you can do this uh, multiple different ways okay but uh, these are for academic purposes and therefore these are certain methods that you have to know right so let's recap okay uh, it's very simple we have class we have object you can create object from class you know that uh, they are private uh, data members they are private functions they can be public uh data members can also be public functions 
Another one is protected, but we won't be discussing it here now. Okay, protected, we'll discuss it later when we talk about inheritance. Inheritance, okay? And uh, you know that we can access uh, all these uh, public functions or data members using the dot operator. Okay, as you can see here, right? Dot operator. If you use um, a pointer, you can use the arrow operator. Okay, and lastly is the constructor. Okay, where you can use constructor some sort of like a like a predefined values. Okay, for whatever data members that you have in in the class. And how do you execute a constructor? It is by having the values and passing the values. Right, the data. Okay, right when you create the object itself. Okay, and this is basically uh the beginning okay and also the uh fundamental okay a part of uh, class and object which uh i think this video will be used universally after this but then uh for the students taking the subject uh this semester your midterm examination will be until here all right will be until here including all the chapters that we have discussed before in class Okay, so guys, I'll leave you with uh, I'll leave you with all these um, uh, codes. Some of you might be asking me if I would upload these codes for you so that you can copy them. Uh, I can, okay, especially if I put it in uh, the drive that we are sharing. But uh, I'll try not to for the next few days because uh, that will make it compulsory for you to type it on your own and find your own errors so do it together with me through the videos it will definitely enhance your understanding rather than uh, you copy the code and run it where the code is already working so what is the point right okay so i hope you can retype this step by step together with me through this video and i assure you it will improve your understanding okay guys so i think that is for now um I'll see you in the next video and hopefully uh, for as long as the, the, the movement control order is, is, is moving then uh, I'll keep publish, uh, publishing new videos uh, for you guys. Okay, alright. Thank you guys and girls. Uh, stay safe. Have a good day. Peace out.